Have you ever wondered what it is exactly that makes some people rich and other people poor? Have you ever wondered if you have what it takes to become rich? Or maybe you've noticed that the smartest people in the world usually never rise above the middle class, and you want to know why that is. Or maybe you're interested in learning the practical strategies that can make you rich regardless of where you're starting from. Well, in this video, I'm going to spill a few of the secrets from this book, From the Trash Man to the Cash Man, How Anyone Can Get Rich Starting from Anywhere by Myron Golden. By the end of this video, you'll know what kind of financial house you live in, which of the four panes of the window of opportunity you fit into, and why it's better to be a VM than a VP. Iron Golden grew up in a poor family and wasn't really good at anything. He got bad grades in school, he was super shy, and he caught polio as a small child in the hospital, so one of his legs grew significantly longer than the other one, so he couldn't really do anything athletic either. Basically, nobody ever voted Myron most likely to succeed. He didn't go to college, and as a young man, he worked as a garbage man, making $6.25 an hour. But Myron was willing to work hard. He was willing to be bad long enough to get good. He trusted God, and he learned a few basic principles which have made him millions of dollars. This book is about the principles that Myron learned that took him from what seemed like a completely hopeless situation to making more money than he had ever dreamed possible. So if you want to make more money than you ever dreamed possible, this book is for you. This is stuff that most people have never been taught and that you're definitely not going to learn from some school teacher who makes $40,000 a year. But if you're the kind of person who likes to make excuses and blame your circumstances for all your results in life, then this book is definitely not for you. And you should probably stop watching this video, go back to your Jersey Shore Marathon, because this video will only be pain and suffering for you. Now, if you're still with me, uh, obviously I can't tell you everything in this book. You have to read it for yourself, but I'll tell you a few of my favorite parts. First is a concept that Myron calls the window of opportunity. Imagine a window that's divided into four panes. There are four ways to make money, and each pane of the window represents one of those ways. The most common way to make money, and also the worst way, is to have a job. Most people in the world think that they need to have a job, and they never question it, even if they hate their job. So that's one way to make money is to have a job. Another way to make money is to own a job. This is what most people do when they start a business. So say if you're a painter that's working for a painting company and you quit your job and then you start your own business as a painter working for yourself. Well, you're doing the same thing. You're selling your work for money. But in this case, instead of working for a company, you're just working for yourself as a freelancer. So you're still working the same job, right? That's why he calls it owning a job. You have a little more control over it, but you're still working the same job. It's not really much better than a regular job because you're still trading your time for money, but now you're giving up the security of having a regular paycheck and benefits. This is what I did when I quit my old corporate office job. I talk about it here in this video all about what you shouldn't do when you quit your job and work for yourself. So those are the two worst ways to make money. The next way is much better and that is to own a system. Owning a system means that you have a business that pays you even when you're not working. There are a whole bunch of different types of businesses that do that, some big and some small. Owning a system is far better than the first two options because how much money you make doesn't depend on the work that you do day to day. So that means that you can work as much or as little as you want and the amount of money that you can make is pretty much unlimited. The reason that so few people own a system is because most people are addicted to getting a paycheck and when you're building a system you don't get paid anything. You have to work for no pay for a while in order to set up the system and most people just don't have that kind of patience. Oh, the last way to make money is to sow money seeds and that means that you invest your money in things that will create more money. So oh, that could be stocks or bonds or real estate or oil wells or just something that you invest your money in and it gives you more money in return. So that's just a quick summary. If you want the detailed version, of course, get the book. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about how to build your financial house. By the way, if you're learning something useful from this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the awesome content that I am putting out every week. So there are three kinds of financial houses. There is the poor financial house, the middle class financial house, and the rich financial house. You can live in whichever house you want to. Each house has four windows. It has an income window. It has a wealth reducing liabilities window. It has an income producing assets window. And it has an outgo window. If you have a job, the money that you make from your job comes in through the income window. 
From there, you get to decide where you put it. You can put it in the wealth reducing liabilities window, you can put it in the income producing assets window, or you can put it in the outgo window. For poor people, if you live in a poor financial house, then all of the money that comes in through your income window goes right back out again through the outgo window. What that means is that they spend all of the money that they get from their job on bills and food and entertainment. They never have any money left over because all of the money that they get goes straight through the outgo window. Now the middle class is a little bit more complicated. They get a little bit more money coming in from their middle class jobs into the income window, and then they put some of it out of the outgo window for bills and entertainment, and the rest of it they put into the wealth reducing liabilities window. So they buy boats and cars and college degrees and all the stuff that they need to keep up with the Joneses, and that goes into their wealth reducing liabilities window, and that usually is financed with debt, so they have to pay the interest on the debt, which goes into the outgo window, and they have to pay for for maintenance on some of that stuff. So all of the wealth reducing liabilities that they are accumulating for themselves are increasing the amount of money that they have to put back through the outgo window. So at the end of the day, they're kind of putting themselves in the same situation as the poor because all of the money that they get is servicing the debt on the stuff that they didn't need, as well as their basic bills and entertainment. Now let's look at the financial house of the rich. The rich, at least when they're starting out, put most of their income that comes in through the income window, they put into the income producing assets window. Those assets could be stocks or bonds or real estate, or they could be investing in their own knowledge by buying books like this one, let's say, or buying online courses, or it could be capital investment into new businesses they're starting. Of course, they still have to send out some of their money to the outgo window to pay for their bills, and they still pay for wealth reducing liabilities sometimes, like boats and cars and that kind of thing. But the difference is that they put most of their money into things that will make them money in return. And after a while, all the money that they've put into the income producing assets window starts coming back. It starts making money and coming back into the income window. Their assets make them money, and then they put that money into buying still more assets, so their money just expands infinitely. So if you want to be rich, even if you're poor or middle class now, you can build your financial house the same way that the rich do. It might mean that you have to give up buying the new car, buying some fancy dinners, but if you want to be rich in the future, that's the way to do it. Another concept I found compelling was that it's better to be a VM than a VP. You know, most people think the way to success is to work really hard at your job and climb the corporate ladder and get promoted, and then if you make the VP position, then you're doing pretty well. But it's much better and much easier to become a VM, which is what Myron calls a virtual millionaire. You know, if you play the corporate game long enough, you can become a millionaire. Actually, a lot of upper middle class people become millionaires eventually, although just barely. For example, if you get a job that pays $100,000 a year and you save 25% of that for 40 years, you will have saved a million dollars, plus a little extra for compound interest. So what do you do with that money? Well, if you invest a million dollars at, let's say, 6% interest per year, well, that means that you're making $60,000 per year from your investment. You probably don't want to spend the original million dollars because that means that you're cutting into your income. So basically, having a million dollars in the bank means that you get to earn $60,000 per year without working. So being a millionaire, if you're not working, means that you get to live a $60,000 per year lifestyle. But there are much easier, much faster ways to live that same millionaire lifestyle without having to slave away at that miserable corporate job for 40 years. The best way is to own a business system. So that means that you could have a website or you could have an e-commerce store or you could have an MLM business or you could have an affiliate marketing business. I mean, if you've been following my channel, which you should, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I have a whole lot of specific ideas that you can do to build business systems just like this. Anyway, if you can create a system that brings in $60,000 per year of passive income, then you've created the same lifestyle for yourself as somebody who slaved away for 40 years at a desk job in order to make a million dollars. That means that you only have to make $5,000 per month in income to be living the same lifestyle as a millionaire. That's why it's better to be a VM than a VP. So that's just a small taste of the information that you'll learn in this book. I definitely recommend that you buy the book. I'll put a link in the description. If you want to learn more, I'm doing a special live web training all about Myron's material. It's called Wealth Mastery Secrets. So if you want to learn super in depth about where wealth comes from, why some people are rich and some people are poor, and how you can count yourself among the rich, even if you come from a background like Myron where you're not really good at anything and it seems like everything is against you in life. 
that interests you, then sign up for the training. I'll put a link in the description. This is a live presentation, so I'm not sure how long it's going to be available, but it's a great opportunity to learn some of Myron's best secrets and to ask me anything that you might want to ask. And if you want some specific ideas about how to make money, even if you have no money to invest, check out this video. And of course, subscribe to my channel because I'm uploading videos every week to teach you how to live a life of freedom and purpose.